Hello friends, this video on improvement in food resources part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, I think we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us quickly look at this difference between capture fishing, mariculture and aquaculture because these three terms look very similar so sometimes people quite get confused that what is the difference between the three. So when I talk of capture fishing, what is this? Capture fishing, the word capture means catching something. So capture fishing means you are di directly catching fish from its natural resource. That means the places where fishes naturally occur, you go there and you capture the fishes. That is capture fishing. Easy to remember, right? So fishes are obtained from natural resources, both freshwater and marine. So that is capture fishing. Mariculture, the term, remember the word mari has come from marine. So marine means ocean. So commercially raising marine fishes in enclosed portion of ocean tanks or enclosures with seawater. Since you want to raise marine fishes commercially, so you need to ensure that the water is seawater. Right? Aquaculture, aqua means water. So it, that was for marine fishes and this is for inland fishes which would include the freshwater fishes as well as the brackish water fishes. So commercially raising freshwater fishes in enclosed water bodies. Right? So if you remember the names, if you understand the meaning of the terms correctly, I mean I don't think you really need to remember what it is. You will remember it automatically. Capture fishing, fishes are captured directly from its natural resources. Mariculture, marine fishes are cultured. Aquaculture, fresh water fishes are cultured. So I hope that um, this lesson would have helped you to understand it. And now let us look at a question quickly for increasing production what is common in poultry fisheries and beekeeping so we have spoken about so many different types of animal husbandries so what do you think was common in poultry fisheries and beekeeping for increased production so what all things did we talk about for increasing production we talk about we talked about cross breeding we talk about we talked about disease control we talked about cleanliness we talked about so many things right so what are the things that are common in all of them when you talk of cross breeding it is not common in all of them because when we were talking about fishery it has nothing to do with cross breeding much right when we talk of beekeeping again it has nothing to do with cross breeding correct so cross breeding is applicable only in case of poultry so for increasing production some of the common things which should be taken care of is first is disease control you need to control diseases because all these are actually sources of food for human beings so if they are suffering from diseases human beings in turn will also suffer from disease so disease control should be taken care of next is cleanliness Proper attention should be given to cleanliness because cleanliness in turn gives rise to, may give rise to many kind of diseases or infections, right? So all these places, whether it is poultry farm or it, it is the uh, apiaries or it is the fisheries, everything should be maintained neat and clean. And the next one is temperature maintenance. So it is very important to maintain a desirable temperature for example in case of poultry farms i just shown you the cages where the uh, poultry are kept so that when they lay eggs those eggs can be collected right now the poultry is also need a specific type of environment or a specific kind of temperature where they can lay eggs if you make that uh, cage extremely cold do you think they'll be able to lay eggs comfortably no right so maintaining a suitable temperature is important in poultry not only in poultry but also in beekeeping as I said temperature plays a very important role for the for the thickening of the honey the nectar which was watery that gets converted into a viscous honey by the process of evaporation and for evaporation you need a specific temperature temperature cannot be very high it cannot be very cold so you need a specific temperature right so the temperature maintenance need to be there in beekeeping as well 
Similarly, in case of fisheries, when you actually catch fishes, it is important that the temporary, not only catch fishes, I'm not talking about capture fishing, I'm talking about culture fishing, where you actually uh, take fishes and put them in some artificial lakes where they can breed and they can give birth to new fishes. So a specific temperature needs to be maintained. Again, there if it is too cold, the fishes will die. Again, if it is boiling hot, again, they will die. So a uh, desirable temperature maintenance is needed. So these are some of the common things which should be kept in mind uh, in order to increase the production when it is uh, poultry or it is fisheries or it is beekeeping. Right. So with this, I will conclude this lesson and I hope that the explanation for this lesson would have helped you to understand why do we need to bring about improvement in food resources. So here we have spoken about the plant, uh, the food which we obtain from plants where we talk about the talked about the crop yield improvement. We also spoken about the food which we obtain from animals and how we take care of them uh, under the topic of animal husbandry. So please grow through the lesson, put in your best and see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.